Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the StockSwish.com. This is Melissa. I'm going over and doing a market review here today. Very interesting because of the fact that the market very well could have continued lower today but chose not to. And so the market is bullish. And let's just review it. Don't forget, I mean, when I saw this, when I saw this this morning, I said I thought we were going to hold immediately today. But then we didn't. And it actually was like 10, 10, 10, 15-ish, and we're starting to break, and we broke, and we broke the low. And then I thought, okay, fine, fine. If the market wants to keep pulling in, it'll pull into the next area. The next area of support, if the market had continued lower, would have been around here, and then down in here, which really would have been 180, 190-ish, 182. But it didn't. It quickly, quickly faked out, broke the low of Friday, and flipped. I mean, broke the low of yesterday on Monday and flipped. And that is bullish. What also is bullish is the fact that the market, even though it had a red day on Friday, broke out to new highs. Market broke out to new highs. It gapped up. It was a bullish gap up, a gap up to new highs, and then went red. So you can't forget that. Yeah, the bar is red. And yes, the bar is red. But the fact is we, we gapped up to new highs. So this actually could have continued lower today. It did not. I thought we'd hold a mealy today. We did not. We faked out very quick and held. And that's why you never trade against the trend. You never trade against the trend because you have no idea at what point in time the market is going to hold the current trend aggressively, which is the way that I'm reading this today. The drop down, the quick bounce, the double bottom, the reversal, the over the high, the continuation, it's going to close bullish today. And I won't be surprised if we gap up tomorrow morning and trigger in a daily buy, set up and fall through. Now there's resistance about a dollar, a dollar or so away. But the market is looking that it's holding the uptrend that these last two days in here are it. I remember these are areas, and I'm seeing this now, 183.90, 183.60. Again, you know, the market ETFs, you got to look at this area. So this is really an area that the market came in and held today into the bounce quickly, very quickly. And it did double bottom. What time was that? 10.15, 10.15, 10.30. So the market sold off Friday hard. If sure the market Friday, you made money, but I would never have done that in a million years because the market's bullish and it made new highs and was a bullish gap. The bullish gap failed. You couldn't have bought the market Friday and made money. You just stay away. Market did gap down on Monday. Hard to play again, though, because, again, the market's so strong. But then it started to look and have a bearish look to it. And I know everyone in the world is out there saying bearish, 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 and screaming short and sell and get out of everything. But the fact is the market's going to make new highs. I did say that this morning, uh, that still we're bullish. We could have come into so many different levels of support in here and still been bullish. But we're not even going to come into, like, the next one. I, I can say that's shocking to me, but nothing shocks me about the market following the trend, which is what it's doing here today. Market is very bullish. That's it. No more pull in here. No more pull in here because of the way that we held today, because of the manner that it happened, because of the way we broke the 50 and broke the low of Monday and broke on through and held that area of support, the way we bounced, the double bottom, the hold in here, the, the fact that it's holding in here at a nice basey, basey base, and the market's in an uptrend anyways, and it had the hard sell-off Friday and Monday, and nothing instigated this rally today. There was no real economic data out to instigate this rally. This is just pure buying, coming into the market, holding it up. In fact, the 50 period moving average is making a nice scoop here. I remember these are areas. The low of this tail here is 183.75. The low of this tail here is 183.90. The low of this tail here is 183.59. That counts as a hold into an area there where the market is holding. And I do believe we rally now. And I do believe we still make new highs. I just don't know when. Depending on where we open tomorrow morning, we could get caught in this area here of resistance. What do we do after that? One thing's for sure, I really think that this is it for the pull-in. And I was perfectly willing to allow the market after the drop down the last two days to pull into a deeper area. Again, into here. Into 182 or 181.50. The fact that we are not going to do that now is crazy bullish to me. But I've been saying the market's been so bullish all along, even with the topping tails. And even though we made this double talk, we went over the high. And even here, we had this red bar. We're still going to go over the high. So the bulls are in control. I'm ever amazed how many times I've seen trends hold. You think they're going to break, but they don't. And I knew this wasn't broken. 
because there was never a bearish gap in this market to break this trend. It would have to be what I term a corrective bearish gap to actually break this market trend in the uptrend it's in. And the fact that it had all these red days in the last month actually is giving it enough energy and room to go higher. It's not even extended anymore. For those people that thought the market was extended, which by the way was never extended, it's definitely, definitely not. And it never was, but you can see here that it's definitely not. And it doesn't even look toppy anymore. So market is definitely higher. I don't know when. Again, the timing of these things is a different story. But looks like this is going to be the low in the market here for a period of time. I think this carries us up over the highs. Whether it happens slowly and surely or quickly, we'll have to see how aggressive the buyers want to step into this market. They just step in and push it back up. And that's only what happened today. As soon as the market broke the low this morning at 10.15, the buyer stepped right in. Stepped right in there and held the market up. One of the things that helps me trade consistently in reference to what I do with gaps is that I am always with the overall trend of what's going on in the chart. And if you are always with the overall trend, you will, you will, do, you will make money. And if you are against it, you won't have high odds of success. What I have found people want to do is play swap it out every day. And they want to do whatever's in play. And you can't do that. You do what you do with the trend when it sets up. And when it doesn't set up, which the market did not set up bullishly on Friday or yesterday, you just lay off. You just lay off or you find your special place, okay, because the market's long. market's going to be a great long. And I still am pull, pointing it out there that the market is going to have a massive rally when it gets over the high. It's still in play to do that and a monster green bar because it hasn't done it yet. And that's going to be probably a combination, again, of shorts getting stopped out and new buyers coming in, new buyers who have not stepped in here yet. New buyers who are waiting the sidelines here to see if the market's going to break and fall or hold. Buyers will come in once they're convinced that they have the confirmation that the market's going to hold the uptrend in here. And, you know, so that's what's going to push the market up on through. And we'll just see when that happens. For now, the market does have some data out this week. And the official start of earnings season is tonight at 4 o'clock with the report of AA to start the second quarter earnings season. So there's going to be a lot of gaps to do and a lot of volume of volatility in the market this spring. It's a great time to train, and it looks like the market is setting up to hold the bullish trend through this spring. So we'll see what happens. We'll see where this takes us. But the way that this formulated itself and shaped itself up today convinces me that this is the low here today in this tail at least till we get up over the new high again, and then we'll see where we go. This is Melissa with the stockswish.com. If you would like more information on how to trade gaps and read overall trends, email me at melissa at the stockswish.com. The next Golden Gap class is April 26th and 27th, and that's in about three weeks or so. If you want to learn how to trade, that will be in the middle of the second quarter earnings season. You can still take advantage of learning how to trade gaps then to get all the gaps that are going to happen in earnings season for second quarter. Again, spring is a very busy time to trade the market. For those people that have conviction that the market is a long like me who stayed with their overnight longs, they, they are still going to get paid. I mean, they are going to get paid. I think a lot of people killed stuff. They lost conviction. There was uncertainty there, but there was no fear. Okay? There's no fear and no panic in this market. And I can read the difference because I know how to short stuff and I know what stuff looks like when it's weak and it's not this market. Okay? So email me at melissa at thestockswish.com if you'd like more information. Bullish day tomorrow in the market. Neutral open or gap up. I below odds a gap down sets up here in the market. And if it's a small gap down, it's still going to rally. So we'll see what we do. Have a great day, everybody.